Tonight, Ambassador Kurtzer is with us. He earned a BA from Yeshiva University in New York and his doctorate from Columbia. He served in numerous senior policy and diplomatic positions, including United States Ambassador to Egypt, 1997 to 2001, and U.S. Ambassador to Israel, 2001 to 2005. He's received numerous awards for his outstanding work in public service, including the President's Distinguished Service Award, the Department of State Distinguished Service Award, and he and his wife were awarded the Henrietta Sold Award by Hadassah in recognition of their distinctive service on behalf of humanitarian causes. He retired from the U.S. Foreign Service in 2005 and is now, this is a long title, S. Daniel Abraham, Professor of Middle East Policy Studies at Princeton University's Woodrow Wilson School of Public and International Affairs. <laughs> I haven't asked him whether he remembers that title or not. But, uh, and also, he was the first and only commissioner of the Israel Baseball League. So, to begin, if we may, first welcome to Charleston. We're grateful that uh, you are here. Thank you very much, and thank you all for coming out for what clearly has been a most interesting series. I wanted to start with uh, three or four issues that are at the heart of uh, the disagreements, and uh, remembering that our theme is, is there middle ground in the Middle East? Uh, is there middle ground on uh, these issues? Uh, I mentioned briefly the different uh, positions on this two-state solution that many people around the world think is what ultimately ought to happen. Uh, how far are uh, Israel and the Palestinians apart on the issue of the two-state solution? Is there middle ground that can be reached on that uh, solution? You know, it's interesting. Over the years, the, uh, the inside baseball tale of the Middle East peace process uh, always held that the uh, differences of view, the gaps between the parties, was relatively narrow. But it was hard to prove it because the negotiations always seemed to break down over one or another of the fundamental issues, Jerusalem, uh, refugees, settlements, security. In the last few months, though, we've been treated through the medium of the leak of the Palestine Papers uh, by Al Jazeera. We've been treated to an inside look at uh, Palestinian decision making. And we now know that in, at least in 2008, when the Israelis and Palestinians last negotiated seriously, the gaps between them were extraordinarily small. The Prime Minister of Israel at that time, Ehud Olmert, put some very forward-leaning positions on the table with respect to each of these issues. And we now know that the President of the Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas, did the same thing. Uh, didn't get as much publicity for it as the time as Olmert got, but uh, we now have this inside view of a situation in which on each of these issues one can begin to envisage where the bridging proposals and creative ideas uh, can be uh, brought forth to uh, narrow further and maybe even resolve the issues. And uh, in the course of the evening we can discuss uh, how it works with respect to each one of those. Uh, 